Meet the North Clan, an extended family of 12 spotted hyenas. This is the first meal they've had in almost a week. They're hungry, and it's only a tiny antelope. They need a decent meal at least every three days. There isn't enough to go around, and tensions rise. The clan is struggling. Their queen has two cubs to feed, a prince and princess, six weeks old, and they'll rely almost entirely on her milk for up to a year and a half. Keeping them alive is her top priority. Their home is an underground den in the north of an area of wilderness known as the Lua Plains. The queen and her clan rule over a huge patch of the plains, extending 20 miles in every direction from their den. Located in the far west of Zambia, Lua Plains National Park is 1,400 square miles of open grassland. There are only a handful of lions here, and the queen and her clan have risen to the top of the food chain. Here, they are hunters, not scavengers. In good years, there's plenty for the clan to eat. Herds of zebra. Small antelopes called oribi. And the clan's favorite prey, wildebeest. And their calves. Thousands of wildebeest normally converge on the plains, in the center of the hyena's territory. But this year, the rains are more than a month late. Not a single drop has fallen for more than six months. and Lua Plains is suffering a severe drought. Without fresh green grass to attract them, there are no wildebeest herds anywhere near the North Clan's territory. The herds are now scattered far to the north, and the clan has to travel vast distances to find them. Several weeks ago, a hunting party from the clan went north and never returned, leaving this small yearling an orphan. <laughs> The clan has a strict hierarchy, and the yearlings been pushed to the bottom of the social pile. Even the two young cubs take turns to boss her around. Born to a queen, they have high ranking in the clan. 
For the orphan, without a mother to protect her and give her status, life is a daily struggle. She needs to grow up fast and gain respect. She is barely old enough to eat solid food and has no mother to provide milk. Now, she has little choice. She must fight, even for a tiny scrap of the kill, to keep herself alive. And when the clan goes out hunting, she must follow. Otherwise, she won't survive. Like all hyenas, this clan is matriarchal. Females are in charge. They're as big and strong as male hyenas. All of the adult females can potentially have cubs, but they will usually only tolerate one adult male at the den, and they use him for one purpose only, mating. The clan females have unusually high levels of testosterone, and this results in the growth of external genitalia, a pseudo-penis that looks almost identical to a male phallus. It's very hard to tell them apart. In a few years, when the prince and princess grow up, she'll stay with the clan, but he'll be pushed out of the den to fend for himself. He might become a satellite male, guarding the den from a distance. Or he will leave his home and travel far to find a new clan. For now, though, he's indulged. All the clan helps out with the cubs. There's even a babysitter to watch over them when the queen goes out hunting. Or when she just needs to take a break. When the cubs are around 18 months old, they will start to eat solid food. But for now, their mother's milk gives them everything they need. Hyena milk is some of the richest in the animal kingdom, with the highest level of protein and fat of any African carnivore. It's so rich, one feed can keep the cubs going for days at a time. But when their mother goes hunting, she can't be gone too long. If left for more than a week, the cubs would die. For the queen, producing such nutritious milk requires a lot of energy. And she hasn't had a decent meal in over a week. <laughs> 